Morning, everybody. Thank you ever so much for coming here so bright and early this morning. Hopefully the bacon rolls out there were good. Um, hopefully you all got a chance to talk a little bit of business, um, maybe with potential customer, maybe with potential supplier, maybe with a potential mutual referral source. A little bit more about that later. Um, for those of you that don't know me and don't know our firm, we are A4G, we're a firm of chartered accountants based along the road um, in West Kingsdown. Uh, we like to think we are more than just a firm of accountants. A4G is short for Accountants for Growth, and that's exactly what we want to be to all of our clients. Our mission is to be the best all-round advisors to owner-managers. Now, putting on events like today is our commitment to all of our clients to try and help you grow your business. And we've got two excellent speakers for you this morning. In the current economic climate, I know that many of you are experiencing a contraction in the size of the market for your services and or products. And getting more market share is absolutely crucial if you want to keep your business at the similar levels of profitability. I know that many people in the room have had to downsize their business in some way, possibly let one or two staff go. Um, I know that some of you are earning less money than you were a few years ago and are actually working a lot harder for it. One or two nodding heads across the room. I suspect that every single one of you in the room is looking for new customers. If you're not, you've probably wandered into the wrong seminar. Um, one of the things I also suspect is that you're not prepared to risk the entire future of your business on some hugely costly marketing campaign. What you're looking for are some low-cost solutions that can start to show some quick results. And hopefully that's what we're going to give you today. Now in about 25 minutes, Chris Ballman, who's top sales trainer and consultant, will be speaking. But before then, I'd like to introduce you to Vince Golder. Like all great suppliers of services or products, Vince was recommended to us by one of our clients, actually. And when Vince came into our practice, it was straight down to business. So much so that we kind of neglected the usual small talk that um, goes on when you start um, doing business with someone. And it was a little while before I found out that Vince's very early career was in the Royal Air Force. I also found out that he's a karate black belt and a former national champion. Well, I should have worked out all of this myself, really, because the work he's done for us has helped our marketing fly, and he's also proved really good at kicking ass. <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. Let me introduce you to Vince Golder. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you, Malcolm, for your kind words. Um, Malcolm never ceases to impress me, um, apart from being a great chap and a uh, top professional, runs a very successful company, he's uh, also an excellent sportsman and he plays his share of squash and, uh, and golf as well. And he actually got a hole in one last, uh, was a couple of weeks ago, yep, that uh, was a witness. And Scott is also a witness to the fact that, you know, it's, it can be quite an expensive achievement, you know, because you've got to go to the clubhouse and, you know, get a second mortgage for a round of drinks. Malcolm went in there, there wasn't a single person in the bar. I mean, can you imagine that? He's got a term for it, which I'll let you <laughs> mention later on. Okay, referral marketing. Just a matter of interest, before I start, it's always useful to know how people get most of their business. And can't, if... Um, how many of you get most of your business through word of mouth referrals from customers and contacts, etc.? I think we agree that's a majority, okay? 80% um, of companies get approximately 70% of their referrals, okay? 70% of their business through word of mouth referrals. And I, I've asked that question to thousands of businesses, and that information is very accurate. Um, when I ask them how they get it, 
I get the, uh, well, I suppose our customers like us, um, you know, um, uh, you know, all the various reasons, but you have to think about it, okay? Two of the best examples I can give, I mean, I'm, I'm based in Berkshire, so I, I don't know many businesses locally, but the two businesses I do know, awfully, obviously, is A4G and um, Oliver's Mill um, from um, Scott across there. Now, they have got great stories on how they developed their business purely through word of mouth, okay? And particularly Scott, I'm quite proud with his story because he got featured in the Financial Times. <laughs> they were looking for a story on how companies develop themselves in today's challenging times. And that, he's got a two-page spread in there. I think my name's in there somewhere. <laughs> but, you know, credit where credit's due. He's got an amazing story. So if you want to talk to Scott later on uh, about how he achieved that. The good news, as I said, 8% of companies get 10% of their business through word of mouth. And... Um, the pound for pound, I will challenge any person mark, uh, you know, against any other traditional marketing like advertising or, or direct sales, not direct sales, sorry Chris, <laughs> uh, direct mail and th those type of things. Pound for pound is the most powerful form of generating new business. Okay? When you think about word of mouth and how it happens, Obviously, you've got a happy customer talking to people that they know, and the prospect comes to you. Now, to me, that, that's wonderful. You haven't had to make any cold calls. You haven't had to do any promotion. That, that prospect is coming to you. And because you've been endorsed, okay, you still have to close them, but it's a lot easier. They're more receptive to your, you know, what the reason why they should do business with you. And... Um, not only that, you tend to get a better, um, get a price, you know, you can negotiate a better price. Um, if you phone somebody up cold and you try and negotiate a price, it's a lot harder than doing it to somebody who's been referred to you, okay? Um, and they're, they're easier to close, they're easier to meet. Um, the big thing that you do get, though, is not only do you get a new client or you get a new customer, but you get a new source of referrals, okay? And if you look at the bigger picture, if you look after that new client or a new customer and you develop a relationship and you do all the things that I'm going to talk about later, then you're going to get a phenomenal potential for future growth, okay? Also find that referrals make quicker buying decisions, which is quite useful. What I find also is that if you get a, a referred source, they look upon you um, with more credibility because of the endorsement factor, okay? And uh, that, that goes a long way.